Once upon a time, two king's sons went out into the world to seek their fortunes, but they soon fell into foolish ways of living and they chose not to return home again. Their younger brother went out to seek them, but when he found them, they only laughed at him to think that he, who was so young and simple, should try and travel through the world, when they, who were so much wiser, had been unable to get along. However, in time, they all set out together and came at last to an ant hill. The two older brothers wanted to knock it over and see how the poor ants, in fright, would run about with their eggs. But the third brother said, Let the poor creatures be. I won't allow you to trouble them. On they went and came to a lake where many ducks were swimming about. The two brothers wanted to catch a couple and roast them. But the youngest said, Let the poor things enjoy themselves. You shall not kill them. Next they came to a bee's nest in a hollow tree. There was so much honey it ran down the trunk and the two brothers wanted to light a fire under the tree to smoke out the bees and get the honey. But the youngest held them back. I cannot let you harm them, he said. At length the three brothers came to a castle and as they passed by the stables they saw many fine horses but they were all made of marble and no one was to be seen. Then they went through all the rooms in the castle until they came to a door which had three locks. In the middle of the door was a window and when they looked through it, they saw a little grey old man sitting at a table. They called to him once, twice, but he did not hear. However, when they called a third time, the little grey old man rose and came out to them. He said nothing, but took hold of them and led them to a beautiful table, covered with all sorts of good things to eat. When they had eaten and drunk enough, he showed each of them to a bedchamber. The next morning, the little old man came to the oldest brother and took him to a great marble table where there were three tablets. Written on these tablets were the instructions of what needed to be done to remove the enchantment from the castle. The first tablet said, In the woods, under the moss, lie a thousand pearls belonging to the king's daughter. They must all be found, and if one may be missing by the setting of sun, he who seeks them will be turned into marble. The eldest brother set out and sought for the pearls the whole day. But when evening came, he had not found even the first hundred, and so he was turned into stone as the tablet had foretold. The next day the second brother undertook the task, but he succeeded no better than the first, for he could only find the second hundred of the pearls, and therefore he too was turned into stone. At last came the third brother's turn. He looked all about in the moss, but it was so hard to find the pearls, and at last he sat down upon a stone and cried, and as he sat there, the king of the ants, whose life he had saved, came to help him with 5,000 ants. And it was not long before they had found all of the remaining pearls and laid them in a heap. The second tablet from the marble table said, The key of the princess's bedchamber must be fished up out of the lake. And as the youngest brother came to the water's edge, he saw the two ducks whose lives he had saved. They were swimming about, and when they saw him, they dived down and soon brought up the key from the bottom. Oh, the third task was the hardest. It was to choose out the youngest and the best of the king's three daughters. Now they were all beautiful and all exactly alike. But he was told that the eldest had eaten a piece of sugar just before the spell had been cast on the castle. The second had tasted some sweet syrup 
and the youngest had had a spoonful of honey. So he was to guess which it was that had eaten the honey. He did not know what to do. But then, through the open window, flew the queen of the bees, the one who he had saved from the fire. She flew to each of the lips of the three princesses, and at last she stopped and sat upon the lips of the one who had eaten the honey. And so the third brother knew which was the youngest, the spell was broken, and all who had been turned into stone awoke and took their proper forms. The third brother married the youngest and the best of the princesses and was king after her father's death. And they all lived happily ever after. <laughs>